This is the Pigfoot Ranch. We're located almost in the center of Texas in Mills County. In what was originally the tall grass prairie. Our efforts are to maintain and conserve as much tall grass prairie as we can. We're in the middle of nowhere, kind of, where you don't hear cars. You look around, you see all of God's wonders and the creation of nature. The Pigfoot Ranch lies within the Cross Timbers and Prairies ecoregion. This property is a great example of what that ecoregion looked like prior to 1850s, prior to European settlement. Um, the diversity that we have out here is unparalleled. So this species right here is actually a verbena species. It's really good for pollinators on the rangeland. It has a nice flower on it. We call it Sweet William. I've never heard that before. Sweet That's William. That's a common name. That is beautiful. The original tall grass prairie in this area had live oak savannas. We have some of that. In addition, along the creeks, there are other woody species of plants. This is the main Pigfoot Spring right down here to our left. We try to maintain the vegetation along the edge of the creek so that these riparian areas will not be subject to erosion. This is a favorite spot of mine to always come down and enjoy. In the summertime, I'd rather be here than in Colorado. <laughs> the history of Bigfoot Ranch goes back to 1885. Our great, great grandfather was the one who actually established the ranch. We would like to see our children and our grandchildren continue to own and operate the place. Let's work on that area right over there. We'll get those cedars right under those trees right there. I feel like I'm pretty well up for the task. I just need a little bit more education on what I'm doing in order to do it right. Each tree takes up an awful lot of water. By keeping the number of juniper trees and mesquite trees down, we have a more healthy ecosystem. This is an area where we had a successful prescribed burn. This is burned on the tops, but you'll see the little Chinook shoots coming in at the bottom. And as the livestock and wildlife come in here, they enjoy eating those fresh shoots. So that, along with the fire, will help control the less desirable plants. We haven't always had a lot of deer out here and the deer population has grown as well as a lot of our other wildlife, which is really nice. Here on the Pigfoot, we rotate through three pastures. So it's not a difficult thing to move the cattle from one pasture to the other. They're coming, that's good. Most of them have come in. This actually is just a little holding trap that we moved the cattle into. We can turn them out to one of two pastures from this spot. They're enjoying the fresh grass almost like candy to them. Let's go ahead in this fresh pasture and look for deer. Typically we see three or four groups of eight or 10. Oh, there goes one right there, a doe. Here we go, a doe right here. Might be able to see her right through there in the brush. Beautiful day, quality time like this is pretty special. When Tommy and I were dating, we looked for grass seeds. <laughs> we look at grasses out here. We watch the cattle. We watch the goats. We look for the deer. <laughs> it's hard to pick one thing because I love it all. I just really enjoy it being out here on the open land. Hopefully, with years to come, we can get this place looking even better than it is now. Our family motto is keep it preserve it, and share it with future generations. <laughs> and that's what I feel good about being a part of.